Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. Now, my partner, we've got to deliver this message through your body, so you better get your coherence factor a little better. He's feeling something. I didn't give him information. I gave him profundity. There's part of him that does not want to be the lightning rod tonight. He wants to be in the audience tonight. Doesn't want the spotlight. Where do I begin? The information that you have been given in these days is grand and so much of it to digest. We're not going to sit and give you more. <laughs> Instead, we're going to give you a little history and we're going to tell you what's really happening here. It's not going to take that long, dear ones. At the center of your galaxy is an event. We call it an event. Not something that was or will be, but something that is and always will be always was it is timeless an event and in three dimensions your science look at it right in the middle of the galaxy they did their best to see what it might be and they've said it's a singularity of some kind some kind of central source named it a black hole years ago years ago we told you that's not what was there we told you the folly that you would even think such a thing when every law of physics comes in pairs right down to cellular DNA you have systems in pairs and in the middle of your galaxy, you've decided there's one thing. There isn't. There's a pair. And it's not describable to you because you do not have that science yet. You do not have the, the concept of what it could be. Today you were given an indication that there might be what is called a broadcast going on all the time from spirit from God from the great central Sun from the source whatever you want to call it and in the physics of it we have described to you before in an interdimensional way outside of your 3d we've called it push-pull energy We've never described it, we've never explained it, and we can't now. But there's a pair there. And it's always broadcasting. We have told you that when you go beyond 3D, and you begin to see what is actually there in a multi-dimensional form, you're going to see so much more than you see now. So much more. And you're on the cusp of that, on the edge of that. Then we'll be able to explain better, for your physicists will start to grasp what it is. Today, your physicists still look into the galaxy and they explain everything they see with a three dimensional Newtonian attitude. Even the multi dimensional energies. 
even the, the dark matter, which is not dark and is not matter. <laughs> they claim to be Newtonian, invisible. It's the only thing they have that will explain it, putting it into the constructs of only what they know. Instead of building something new that might be grander than anything they know. The quantumness of the galaxy would explain an expanding galaxy. It even explains the rotation, the speeds that are all the same. It's all there. It's all math that you don't have. It's okay you don't have it yet because you will soon. You will soon. So right now you see in black and white in shades of gray and I've got a color story to give you. And you can't really see it yet or understand it yet. So I will just give you the information and tell you there come a day when you can listen to this channel and put it together. Physicist, you're missing two laws of physics. You should know that. Everything is coming in twelves. You realize that. Take a look at the ancients and their measuring systems. They didn't come in tens to make it easy. Like counting on your fingers and toes. <laughs> they came in twelves. And there was a reason. Because that is the system of the galaxy, of the universe. 360 degrees, that is the system of the galaxy and the universe. Take a look at the sacred numbers. Take a look at DNA. It's all about twelves. And that's going to play into multidimensional physics when you start to realize what is there. There is push pull energy everywhere, and it is something that broadcasts energy that is benevolent and is beautiful and you're picking it up right here broadcast to you constantly through your sun through your heliosphere right into your magnetic grid right into human consciousness right into that invisible fabric that we've talked about all day long that can change everything science is going to realize that this invisible force is so much grander than anything in three dimension that you know about anything the true power of all that is is invisible and so much of it comes from you now that is not new news is it so let us back up just a little bit at the precession of the equinoxes the center the wobble of the earth the beginning and the end, when enough of the Pachacutis had settled, and when the calendars of the ancients aligned themselves and proclaimed an end of an old energy so grand and great they had to start new calendars to describe what might happen. You held a ceremony in honor for it, and you called it the Lemurian Choir. And in that time and in that place, you had the instructions to use the pineal, the sounds that were made intuitively through the Master Yai and his remembrance to literally sing to the central source tones that would create multi-dimensional energies to let the rest of the galaxy know you had arrived and you did at that time I channeled to you that you had turned the key in the lock now dear ones there's a lot of difference between opening a door and simply turning the key in the lock and you're about to open the door with me all of you it is hard to describe 
In the last three years, we have identified 24 places on the planet which we called nulls and nodes. And together, when they're paired up, they create 12 push-pull energy time capsules left here by your seed parents. Now let's just stop for a moment because I don't want to go any further until you understand seed parents. Just because you've never met them or you don't think you've met them just because it sounds odd and strange and, and just because if you're new age you have to believe in ETs and just because it tempers the truth and the truth is this listen your lineage is from the stars it couldn't be clearer your lineage is from the stars the chemistry might be from here, but I'll tell you that what is inside you is Pleiadian. Therefore, if you would look at the Pleiadians and call them funny names and fear them and say they're here to conquer you or they're Lizzie's or they're this or that, I want you to be aware of something. You are Pleiadian. Is it any clearer than that? They are your spiritual parents in love with you with a hands-off policy on this planet where you can build your own consciousness, enhance your own DNA. You can take it down, you can take it up. There's no predestination. It is yours today. And when you pass the marker, the ancients predicted that you would have the chance this fifth time to break a mold and go forward in human consciousness. I will say it again. I will say it so many times you're going to get tired of hearing it. Historians may measure this time as the time the page was turned and everything that preceded it was barbarian age. That's how different the potential is. It's going to take a long time, years, for the awakening to take hold. Generations must pass. Old energy and old thinking must go into the dirt the new thinking to be born of the same dirt time however esoterically you're about ready to open a door in this room in a day another grand assemblage of pineal tones will be sung rehearsed channeled around practiced And they're not going to work unless we do something, you and I, right now in this room. Twelve pairs of push-pull energy called time capsules. The time capsules contain nothing. The nomenclature of time capsule is given for you a metaphor something is there and it has to do with time and I'll tell you why because the time is now those capsules when they're open they're like doors and they don't transmit anything they're receivers I want you to know that when you talk about things of science and you heard it today, the repetition of systems of fractals goes from the smallest of the small to the biggest of the big. And what you find in the simplicity of the small is echoed and repeated 
to the largest thing you can imagine, the very galaxy you're in, the way the push-pull energy works, transmitted from the great central source to the planets of free choice which have gone into ascension status which all have receivers. You were like a pressure cooker without a receiver. You had to pass that marker, dear human being, dear civilization, before your receivers could pop up and start a process in year one. And that is why we identified the 12 pairs push pull energy I wish I could tell you what that meant and it doesn't really mean that at all it's the best I can do it ought to tell you there's a system that goes back and forth for a reason when you start identifying where the nodes and the nulls are paired you're going to find that the best path of transmission between them in order to pair up is through the soil of the earth and not through the air. Transmission through the dirt. Tesla 101. And so don't be surprised if they're on the other side of the planet. We've given you three. If you knew how the system worked and you've got 12 you know that three is not enough to activate them. You've got to be a certain percentage in order for the three to come online and start to receive. The choirs have activated them. They're ready to go. The choir that will be in this room will activate this one, but it has no partner until now when I identify it and then there will be four bears and if you knew the formulas and you will someday you'll know that there has to be a certain percentage of the twelve in order for the engine to work as soon as you bring the fourth pair online all of them will start receiving what is it they're going to sense and receive? I will tell you, dear ones. <laughs> Fast tracking to a higher consciousness on the planet because that is your desire. Because that is your intent. Because that is the belief that you are owning in this room. It is no accident that there are 500 of you or so in the shadow of a mountain there is no accident that this evening Adamas is here. Aurelia Louise Jones is here. They've waited a long time for this. That your seed parents are standing around you and saying it's about time. You're going to activate. The newest pair. And when you do, some of you will feel it. I would like to identify for you the partner of Shasta. This is a node. It's matching push-pull. No. It's Mount Ararat in Turkey. My partner, you're going to have to go to Turkey now. Don't read anything into this. There was no Turkey when these things were put together. Do you realize that? There was no USA when these things were put together. Do not draw human borders and wonder why. Because there are grander reasons that have to do with the geography of the planet, the beautiful geometry inside the planet. I've just told you where it is, but it's not linked up yet. Once you link this, the percentage will be complete. And the process can begin. 
doesn't it make sense that the process should begin in 2014, not in 2013? Doesn't it make sense that now is the time to start? Instead of a time of confusion and realignment, readjustment. The confusion is beginning to clear for so many in here. I need all of you to do this. Now, there are many here who won't know what they're doing. And if that bothers you, then don't do it. For the rest of you, this is why you came. This is why you came. I want a coherence in the room. Did you see it on the screen? Did you hear about what the heart can do? Are you aware of human consciousness? Do you know about the invisible power you have collectively? Do you have any idea? Any idea? That what you do in the next moments is going to bring this planet online. And when you look at the news tomorrow, it won't look any different than it does today. Because these things happen slowly. With generations involved. With birth and death. But once the planet starts to receive what it's supposed to receive at the right time, passing into the new places in its orbit around the galaxy, it is ready. It is ready. The fast track is here to help you. I want a coherence in the room. Adamus is here. I want you to focus right now in silence, right now. To the whole reason you came, I want you to concentrate on this beautiful node called Shasta. This is the home of your seed parents. They've been waiting for this disalignment for this matchup right now I want you to concentrate I want a coherence in the room can you show your love can you go into that place in your heart and no nervousness can you drop into the core right now can you do this together we need you to do this together of like mind the belief in the room is on purpose it surpasses any kind of a random group we can ever bring together there is a coherence it's starting Louise thank you for this Adamas we are here and what you had hoped would happen has the group has a coherence. It is concentrating on the mountain. Let the city come forth. As the city on the hill is the beginning of an activation of all four pairs in a percentage where they'll all awaken. And over time, the others will come online as well to start receiving information that will help humanity, should it wish, to awaken to it new information that humanity is ready for in a way it has never been ready before let those in this building in this coherence in this love who recognize you as seed parents finally not in fear but in congratulations knowing that their own DNA is like yours, finally. Let the love in this room be broadcast to the city on the hill. And let these two, a node and a null, come together right now. There are some in this room who are not going to feel it. I want to tell you, this carries a power of healing energy. There are many things that may happen right now. I invite some of you to feel it right now, if you choose. You're in the right place at the right time. This is a coherence of 500 people. This coherence can affect everyone in this room, those who are listening in what we will call at the same time and you call later, right now. 
there's an energy, the entourage that has come in here at the beginning is celebrating. Some of you are not going to sleep well tonight. Because there's a party going on in the mountain right now. Because you just did it. You just did it. Let the pair be complete. Let this planet go forward. It's the reason I'm here. It's the reason that all we're on the stage today at some level, there's hope like there never was before. Is this too esoteric? For some, yes. But in the future, there will be science that comes along that looks curiously like what I talked about today. What a coincidence. I want you to go from this place knowing that something profound has happened and that you had a part in it. Dear old soul, thank you for being in the right place at the right time. No wonder my partner was apprehensive. He wanted to be with you. And so it is.